to have to be five if it, the shape is already complete. Okay, now back to the small brush. <coughs> I use a little bit uh, ink with a uh, rouge to create a dark, dark rouge or dark uh, uh, browny color. You know, the, for the calyx and the stem. This is also um, where you distinguish the, the plum from uh, peach or cherry because there's, the, there's no uh, long stem like cherry or fat calyx like uh, peach. The plum is smaller. You need to pay attention on that. Some uh, just uh, without definition is fine. Like indicate the uh, flowers in the background or you know, the, uh, more depths. And now um, use the same brush uh, to do the. Uh, statements. You can use the same color as the calyx. Little circle in the center. Actually, the flower has uh, some uh, green in it. You can use uh, um, more subtle color, but uh, today I just show you the classic, uh, more freestyle way, uh, the elaborated style, realistic style.
Now I'm going to dot the pony. Uh, I use a little bit yellow with a lot of uh, white. There's some green in, in left in the, on the palette, so it's a little bit uh, yellowish green, if you will, which is very realistic, uh, as I see the real flower here. So, it becomes an opaque color, you can dot the points to make it uh, kind of build up on the, on the petal. like uh, standing out. You can see that on the white paper that much, but still you have to do it. Okay, um, I'm going to add just a little tinge of uh, green into the um, petals. And you can do so by create a very light, very light uh, diluted, uh, kind of transparent uh, green by mix a little bit of indigo with yellow. Another yellow. Yellowish water. I want to make sure it's transparent. So you will show through the. Uh, you want to do it at uh, the light, the time with uh, the, the pants quite dry. So I can do this part here. Just, you know, like you do watercolor, just add another color. Go through the calyx actually color uh, on, on the back of the flower. Actually, that's where the green comes from. Make the pink more tender. Now you can um, actually there are some uh, uh, leaf leaf uh, but uh, some green in the branch. You can also dot with a very uh, tender green color just to add more um, color. It's not as much as the leaves uh, as on the peach. Uh, the plum usually don't. Uh, bloom before the leaves come out. You can indicate that it's a little green dots. Just like an impression this you know, you can dot on the paper. Okay. Just an impression. Uh, we don't wash the background that much, but uh, if it's white flower, you can wash the background. Okay, now um, find a 
place to sign and uh, we can uh, finally we need to take a distant look and see if uh, there's any uh, anything we can adjust in terms of uh, uh, the density and the sparsity the dense part could be dense and you can add uh, mass dots to um, make uh, some adjustment ascent Now I'm ready to sign and uh, entitle it. Uh, the signature and the title can go um, as part of the composition. Uh, instead of putting on the corner, I'll just write in this area to complete the uh, composition. bloom ahead of the uh, hundred flowers. And uh, the year of rubbing. Okay, okay. Uh, finally the seal. You can also put a corner seal. Here, or do I have space? Yes. This is a, a video of wood seal that uh, has to do with the plum. It says uh, um, with a friendship with a with a plum. Um, now I just uh, moved the easel a little bit away uh, from the uh, camera so you can see the whole uh, tree here, the blooming plum or Japanese quince to be precise. Um, the inspiration I got is from this uh, blooming Flower. Uh, you can see the different uh, uh, stages of blooming still. Uh, some uh, bud and some are full bloom. In terms of uh, the blooming stage, we need to indicate that in our painting. And uh, besides, we need to indicate different uh, perspective. Uh, some are uh, facing you, like in the front view, some um, upward, or some. Uh, in a side view, uh, we need to have all the uh, you know like perspective. This is a side view one right there, and you know the the front view, the up view. So all the directions should be indicated in different uh, opening stage, like uh, the bud, uh, the uh, blooming one, the fading view. Uh, if you vary as much as you can you have a very um, interesting picture in the end. Uh, so don't just repeat five petals, there are different perspectives, different uh, blooming stages in the, in the flower too. You know? um, again, the composition needs to be very selective when you 
when you paint. So choose the, the best uh, branch that uh, moves you. you. You feel the best, as the uh, poem uh, put it. There are thousands of branches uh, in your eyes, and uh, only uh, a few that uh, uh, fell in my heart. So why don't you just paint those uh, three or two branches uh, so you, you see what you want to see and paint what you feel like uh, the most beautiful one. Uh, to be very cre uh, creative in selecting your elements. For those of you who are interested in learning um, the Chinese painting, I have a upcoming online class starting this uh, June, uh, July. Uh, you can register now to uh, save your spot and uh, uh, we start uh, in July and will last uh, uh, for six weeks. Uh, you can take the class uh, anywhere um, in the world. It's an online uh, internet uh, class. You will see a step-by-step -step, uh, instruction uh, on subject matters uh, like uh, flowers and landscapes. Um, so more in more depth um, and in more detail. So you can follow the uh, class assignments and uh, discuss uh, uh, with other students in class. Thank you very much for watching. Happy painting. Enjoy the spring. Bye-bye.